One. Hello everyone, this is Bart Coppens and believe it or not, but today I am in Uganda with my friends Glenn and Hello. Zed. There we go. And today we are going to look for butterflies. It's my first time in Uganda, I don't know all the species here. It's going to be a complete surprise. Let's get started. Whoa, here is my first ever butterfly in Uganda. Amazing. Hopefully it's the start of many species. This butterfly here is a Neptis Serena. It is known as the River Sailor and has a very graceful and extremely widespread species in tropical Africa. The habitat consists of open, grassy banks, of streams and rivers in forests, heavy woodland, coastal bush and savanna. Neptis Serena is found from Gambia and Senegal to Ethiopia and south to Zimbabwe. Zambia and northern Botswana. The host plants include several Euphorbiaceae and certain Fabaceae plants. Welcome, as in, welcome to my first experience in Africa, my first video from Africa. It's my first time, everything is new and overwhelming. I'm really thankful that my channel becomes so successful I get invited to other countries. Wow, that's a really beautiful one, especially if it opens its wings. First day in Uganda, ladies and gentlemen. How many more countries will I visit for YouTube? I'm overwhelmed. There's so many species here I don't even know yet. This one is very precious. So Uganda is a country with big tropical forests. As usual, we are coping with a lot of deforestation. Every year the rainforest is shrinking in size. That's because it's being replaced by sugarcane, or human settlements, or other forms of plantations. It's the same story around the globe. The good news is there is a lot of forest left, even though it's shrinking in size every year. The current place where I'm at is called Mabira Forest on the outskirts and currently I'm looking at this absolutely wonderful butterfly it's so gorgeous I do hope it will open its wings a few more times wow far as big tropical forest go this is actually an open clearing so we're not even in the, in the rainforest yet this is more uh, farmland that used to be rainforest, but there's still some wildlife, but it looks like Glenn and Zed have found something, so we're gonna check it out. They called me over. So in the back, this is eucalyptus plantations. They plant them for hardwood, so a lot of it is farmland. Okay, let's see. What have you guys found? I'm filming you, by the way, just so you know. You don't mind? What did no, you? No, no, it's a caterpillar. A caterpillar? Yes. Really? There's a few of them, but you can't touch them. I can't touch them? Oh my gosh! No, these are not uh, not dangerous. Not dangerous? No, no, no. They have. Uh... Oh, look at those cute spines. They flail about. Oh, what plant did you find them? What is on? On this one? Yeah. Whoa! This one. Grass? Yeah, it's a grass, a kind of grass. Maybe we can raise them. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first vlog in Africa, in, in Uganda. And we already found one very fascinating little caterpillar. As you can see, it has these flails that it moves around. Very fascinating. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what moth this becomes, but we're gonna find out. Hopefully. Picked some of the leaves that people said they found it on, so I hope it's the host plant. Get back in your container so we can raise you into a moth. It's one of the reasons I like to travel, also to do research and see the life cycles of butterflies and moths. There we go. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm actually in Africa. 
Soon my YouTube channel will have videos from every continent. I mean, I filmed butterflies in South America. I filmed them in the Netherlands, my home country. I filmed them in Cambodia and Laos. And now Uganda. Wow. And you're probably wondering how does Bart do it, you know? How does Bart afford to travel the globe with such a small channel? Because let's be honest, I get about 1000 to 2000 views per video, right? Well, I'm clever about it because I get invited by the people who watch my channel. The person who invited me here in Uganda is named Glenn. Glenn, if you're watching this, thank you so much. He is providing my housing and accommodation because he liked my videos and that's very, very generous of him. And that's what allows me to do things like this and show you the wildlife and the environment. Especially the insect wildlife, because this is an entomology channel. It's very warm here and I notice there's also many introduced plants. Of course, this is a farmland. I still have to show you the real rainforest. Here on the farmlands we see like a lot of lantanas and stuff like that. I also see things like jackfruit and guavas, which are from, if I'm not mistaken, from India and from South America. So yeah, humans have changed the landscape a lot, but still there's a lot of native things left that I would like to document. One thing I find unique is this rocky landscape. Today is my first day exploring the country of Uganda and I'm being driven around by my Ugandan guide and driver Zed together with my British friend Glenn. So this video may not be super coherent, I'm driving from place to place to make short videos and to get to know the country. Our next destination is the actual tropical rainforest. Folks, that is round one, we're gonna go back in the car now. Yeah, filming that part too. Yep, Good question is... Okay, wait, I have to take this off. In Uganda they sell grilled chicken on the roadside. Let's hope I don't get food poisoning. Here's a tip. Ask the chicken sellers to throw the chicken back on the fire to reheat it. Fire kills the bacteria and makes it safer to eat. Don't buy the stale chicken they've been carrying around for hours. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we would have ate all pepper, we don't have a problem with it. Oh, you like? I can't change one. No, no, it doesn't matter. Thank you. I'm gonna film it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes. have you ever had Ugandan <laughs> chicken kebab? Don't worry, it's safe. We made sure that they put it on the, on the grill. But Yeah, there you go. Give it a kansala. Give it a kansala. Give it a Oh, sorry, I... Did I spoil your video? No, it's okay. Wow, it's actually pretty good. Mm. Better chicken than I get in the Netherlands. Yeah? We make sure that they are roasted, so... Should be safe. Great. I can show the deforestation that's going on here. You see even the rainforest to signpost? Yeah. If you want. Yeah. So but, we, but we don't want to upset people too much that oh they no. think, oh, I don't want to go to Uganda, they're chopping everything down. We, no, we, no, no, no. We don't want to make that impression. <laughs> there is no part of the world where there is no deforestation. Yeah, I know. doesn't matter. Even in a lot of parts of the Amazon, of the Atlantic forest, you know, any even Cambodia, Laos, other countries where I worked, there is deforestation. Yeah. And it will, only, it will only get worse. It's of everywhere. The of mankind. We all need wood. We it's everywhere. So I don't consider that like slander. It's good to bring attention to it because more people will come here, you know, to help the forest. Yeah. Look at the young boy, you can very well, you know, take him. <laughs> Look, this is what they do. But All right, people, we made a quick stop at the rainforest lodge. As you can see, the forest here is very well preserved. Even though the swimming pool, of course, is not that much of a natural feature. 
Sometimes it can go hand in hand, as you can see. And if you look closely in the background, maybe you'll see some swallowtails and other butterflies flying around. I'll try to make some close-ups. Just admire the forest here. Yeah. Biliodardanus. Very hard to film them. They're called the flying handkerchief. They just don't stop. So this forest road is a bit artificial because we are currently like in a rainforest lodge, it's for tourists. But because it's in the middle of a big forest, you can still get wild. Oh, guys, there's a very big butterfly. Oh, it's settling. It's settling on the trail. Please. Oh my God. I got a nice close up of it, but sadly it's facing the camera. This is an exquisite species. It's also very large. It's one of the bigger ones I've seen so far since arriving in Uganda. Now guys, I'm sorry if this video is a bit chaotic. I just arrived here in Uganda and we're doing like a little road trip, taking a sneak peek at several areas. So it's not really a coherent video where I walk in the forest. It's just random clips of me strutting around, filming random species. But I hope you enjoy it. Later, down the line, I will make more videos like moth trapping nights, you know, doing walking forest trails. But for now, this is what I can offer. But this butterfly is awesome. Would be better if it opens its wings a few times more, but I think I got a nice close up at least. But still nice. Hmm. I'm not even sure if these are both the same species, to be honest. The first butterfly flew away and I couldn't see the, under, the upper side of the wings. I only saw the underside. But there is indeed a chance that they are both Euphedra maidon, the widespread forester butterfly. It does seem to have many subspecies and its appearance appears to be quite different in other parts of its range. In Uganda there is a subspecies called Fraudata which has a steely, coppery, silver-greenish iridescence. It is found only in rainforest. They feed on many plants such as Paulina and Dainbolia. This could be Hippolycaena hatita, the common fairy hair streak, a widespread butterfly in tropical Africa, but no less beautiful. And it is associated with rainforest. The huge tails on the wings serve as a distraction. Predators would be tempted to attack the tails instead of the head, and this gives the butterfly a chance to escape. I don't know if you can see it, but here is a very tiny little butterfly. Let me try and make a close-up. Be very small and sneaky. It's the first time in my life I'm observing this species. Oh, it's very cute. It appears to be a Lycaenidae. Fascinating! Those, they are very active little orange buggers. Hopefully I can make more close-ups of this one. I'm not even sure what this is, but it could be Bicyclus auricruda, a satyr. These are the satyrs doing a mating dance. Courtship rituals are important to butterflies. They are displays of fitness. Usually the males try to impress the female.
Right folks, getting back into the car. Time for the next stop. Just exploring. Yeah, I'm going to stop here. Yeah. Is it a little bit wider there, Zed, where we can get out of the sun? Just, just, and then Zed, um, back and just do we, you know? All right, people. So here on the right, you can see the forest. And here on the left, there is a sugarcane plantation. Of course, we have to keep in mind Uganda is a developing country. So I am not immediately going to whine and complain when people farm sugarcane because it is their subsistence, which is important. But at the same time, it shows the balance there has to be between sustainable farming practices and conservation. Because, of course, in order to grow any crops, forest does have to be removed in some cases. And it's an important economical consideration. Also, this is a nice forest fringe. Here we are on the edge, because here the rainforest really starts. See that? Rainforest. Ooh, and here we have basically the plantations. Now, butterflies tend to hang around on the edge of the forest, so it is also a good place to make a quick stop. See if I can make a close-up of any cool butterfly species. You never know. Let's take a little hike. You think I can... So yeah, folks. I'm not going to be one of those Westerners who come to a more poor country like Uganda and complain about farming. People need to feed themselves, you know, people need to survive here. But you can see how barren everything is up there. And the truth is they did remove all of the forest for farming. It's an unfortunate situation and I wish there was a way to have, you know, a compromise between people feeding themselves, making money and preserving the forest. If there is a solution to that, it would be nice. And look, this little trail goes into the rainforest. Pretty sure people created it probably to do logging or cut the trees. But at the same time, it helps a YouTuber like me take a sneak peek in the forest. This is where we get all the butterflies. Oh, would you look at that? I was right. It's swarming with butterflies, just a few steps into the forest. This is where they really want to hang out. The rainforest. Look at those magnificent trees. Soon this will all be replaced by sugar cane plantations, unfortunately. So enjoy it while it lasts. Guys, back here on the floor, I've seen a butterfly I always wanted to see. It's called Eunonia Western Money. And it's a black and orange butterfly with two bright iridescent blue spots. Let me get a shot of it. It's here on the floor. This is a beautiful butterfly, but it's even prettier when it turns around. It has metallic blue that can only be seen from a certain angle. Wow, there it is! This butterfly is not really rare in Uganda. It is found from Ivory Coast to Angola, Zaire, southwestern Ethiopia, western Uganda to Kenya and eastern Tanzania. The caterpillars feed on various species of Acanthaceae plants and when observed from a certain angle they have incredible blue spots on their wings. Wow, so beautiful! Here comes the car. Yeah, let's go back. 
I think they're tired of waiting for me. Let's go back to the car. So that's what we're doing. We're driving around. You know, I'm getting accustomed to Africa, Uganda, sightseeing. Hey, I see a monkey. On the road, there's a monkey. Oh. Do you think they eat sugar cane? Maybe they eat the sugar cane, interesting. Well, that was a wild monkey sighting there, guys. Got it on camera too. Well, some nice butterflies up there. Yep. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. This was just the introduction to Uganda. There are many things in store for you. It's a good time to be a Bart Coppens fan right now because the content I have is amazing. I've seen and filmed incredible amounts of wildlife during my journey in Uganda and you absolutely don't want to miss this. So like and subscribe. And of course you can expect to see some of my classic moth trapping night videos too. I know you guys love them. I spent many nights in Uganda looking for unusual moth species. Get ready for it and see you in the next episode.